Properties of Materials, Week 1 to 2, Quarter 1, Science 5. This lesson will help you to discover and understand the properties of materials and their uses. The lessons include activities that will guide you to use the properties of materials and determine whether they are useful or harmful. Properties are distinctive characteristics that describe an object or material. These properties of materials determine their uses and importance. These properties may be observed directly or indirectly. Go to your kitchen. Observe the materials found in the kitchen. Can you name some? Look at the picture on our screen. Can you tell the uses of each materials found in the kitchen? Each materials have their own characteristics which tell about their properties. You can classify them based on their shared qualities and properties like texture, color, and hardness. These are called physical properties. Now let's observe teapot, plates, cups, and saucers. What characteristic do they share in common? If you say they are made up of ceramics, you are right. Its property shows that it is hard, rigid, waterproof, and resistant to heat. These properties make them a good material for holding hot liquids. There are also some plates, cups, and saucers that are made from plastics. Plastics are also durable, but once it is deformed, the deformation remains. They are durable. Durability is the ability of materials to withstand wear, pressure, or damage. Unlike plastic materials, rubber bands are elastic. When force is applied on it, it returns to its original size and shape after force is removed. This property is elasticity. Rubber is durable, elastic, and can resist heat. This makes rubber an excellent material in making tires for land vehicles. Try to help your mother scrub the steel sink using steel wool or wire sponge. The sink and steel wool are made up of stainless steel. They are important because the sink is used to hold water when you wash things. They are also tough, easy to clean, and strong. Some materials like fork, spoon, and knife are also made from stainless steel. You may cook rice in an aluminum pot or in a rice cooker. Aluminum is used in making cookwares like kettle, rice cooker, casserole, and frying pan because it is a good thermal conductor. Does not rust and has light weight. These properties are important for everyday use in cooking foods. Look at the materials found inside the box. What are their characteristics? When choosing materials for specific use, don't forget to consider their characteristics and their properties. The steel wool is tough. Rubber band is elastic. Safety pin is tough. Kettle is durable. Metal roof is malleable. And silver ring is also malleable. Our prior knowledge about the characteristics of solid, liquid, and gas will help us determine their properties and uses in our daily lives. You can describe a metal kettle by saying that it is strong and durable. 
a metal is also malleable. This property, malleability, means that a metal can be hammered and formed into sheets which can be used for a variety of different purposes. The performance of some solid materials considers the response to external forces. Hardness is a measure on the amount of force that an object can withstand, and tough materials like black of wood will not break easily in contrast to materials that are brittle like egg shells. Again, metal kettle is durable, metals are malleable, diamond, the characteristic of it is hardness, or properties of it is hardness, black of wood, it is tough, and eggshells are brittle. Plastics are flexible, durable, and resilient. That's why they are good materials for storage containers. But they are extremely resistant that they persist for hundreds of years. Do you know that plastic water bottle can persist for 450 years and disposable diapers for 500 years. Some materials found at home like the power cord of the rice cooker or extension wires are made from copper wires. These materials are good conductors of electricity. The electrical conductivity is the ability of metals to conduct heat and electricity. Hard materials like woods can be used to make tables chairs, and walls of the house. They are also durable and tough. Now this time, we will learn about the useful and harmful materials at home. Some materials found at home can either be useful or harmful because of their physical and chemical properties depending on the materials used. Chemical properties are observed indirectly and become evident only when the material undergoes a chemical reaction or chemical change. They, ha they have harmful effects on people, animals, plants, and in the environment if they are not used properly. Soaps, detergents, rubbing alcohol, and bleaching substances are good cleaning agents and antiseptics. Medicines, vitamins, and minerals are very useful for your health and maintain immunity against some diseases but if the medicine are not taken in proper dosage, they may harm your health. Excessive intake of soft drinks, processed foods like hot dogs, sweet and salty foods like ice creams and noodles are harmful to your health. They can cause poor nutrition and imbalance of, of nutrients in the body. Let us, let us examine the label of sardines and noodles. The label shows presence of sodium. Salt or sodium chloride is common in processed foods. If taken in excess, this may accumulate in your organs and, and may damage your kidney. LPG or liquefied petroleum gas or simply propane or butane is a flammable mixture of hydrocarbon gases used as a fuel in heating appliances and vehicles. However, an extra care and assistance from elders are required when you open it because it may cause fire. For our learning task 1, using the given objects presented in the table, Write as many characteristics or properties as possible to describe each object. Objects such as chopping board, plastic plates, glass, rubber band, and steel knife. And you may write your answer in the column of characteristics or properties. Hard, magnetic, strong, clear. Corrosive, smooth, conductor, elastic, transparent, durable, malleable, water and heat resistance. And these 
are the correct answers. Chopping board, durable and hard. Plastic plates, clear, smooth and transparent. Glass, clear, smooth, transparent and hard. Rubber band, smooth and elastic. Steel knife, water and heat resistance, malleable and durable. For learning task 2, Match the material in column A with their uses in column B. Column A, knife, wood, cloth, metal pot, ceramic cup, muriatic acid, powder detergent, mirror, bath soap, and electrical wires. Column B, A reflects the, the existing light, B cooking foods, C conducts el electricity, D Removes dirt in soiled clothes. E. Cleans the toilet bowl. F. Holds hot liquid. G. Food preparation or cutlery. H. Chairs and tables. I. Blanket. And J. Personal hygiene. And these are the correct answers. Number 1. Letter G. Number 2. H. V. I. 4. B. 5F, 6E, 7D, 8A, 9J, and 10C. For learning task 3, read the properties of materials below and identify the property of materials described in each sentence. Number 1. The physical property of metals that defines their ability to be hammered, pressed, or rolled into thin sheets without breaking. Number 2. Ability of the materials to conduct electricity. Number three, this refers to the ability of the materials to withstand wear, pressure, or damage. Number four, the physical property of a material associated with the ability to be hammered, thin or stretch into wire without breaking. And number five, it is the measure of the resistance to localized plastic deformation induced by either mechanical identation. And these are the correct Answers. Number one, malleability. Number two, electrical conductivity. Number three, durability. Number four, ductility. And number five, hardness. For learning task four, classify the uses or importance of each materials listed inside the box. Answer may be stated in any order. Write your answers in your notebook. Food or food preparation, cleaning, or hygiene, cooking, or heating, and gadget appliances. You may use the answers inside the box. Soap, sugar, water, liquid petroleum, gas, or LPG, charcoal, teapot, vinegar, chopped woods, detergent powder, rice grains, alcohol, salt, rice cooker, toothpaste, radio, and electric fan. And these are the correct answers. For food preparation, we have sugar, water, vinegar, rice grains, and salt. For cleaning or hygiene, we have soap, cotton buds, alcohol, toothpaste, detergent, powder. For cooking or heating, we have LPG, charcoal, chopped woods, and rice cooker. For gadget or appliances, we have electric fan, rice cooker, and learning task 5. Read the selection below and answer the gig questions at the end of the story. Ladies' Finger for Sale by Mina Natividad During lockdown in Calabarzon in March 2020, Joram, a grade 5 pupil together with Joram and Hannah, decided to plow the vacant plot in the backyard using a hoe. They planted Ladies' Finger, a vegetable plant locally known as okra. They water the plants every day using empty clean cans. They spray chemical fertilizers every 4 to 6 weeks after watering the plants. It took 10 to 12 weeks when okra plants become ready for harvesting. They harvest the ladies' finger and decided to sell them among their neighbors in the community. They earn several coins and give them to their mother. They also set aside some pieces of okra for cooking. The planting and selling of Lady's Finger were good experiences that Jaram and his family enjoyed during quarantine period.
These are the guide questions. Number one, name three metal objects or materials mentioned in the story. Number two, what is the use or importance of these materials? Number three, what chemical substances were used after watering the plants? Number four, are these chemical fertilizers useful or harmful in the environment? Number five, what are the importance of selling ladies' fingers in the community? Number six, what is the use of ladies' finger or okra at home? And number seven, is ladies' finger useful or harmful in humans? And these are the correct answers. Number one, coal, tin cans, and coins. Number two, garden tools or for gardening. Number three, chemical fertilizers. Number four, the chemical fertilizers are harmful in the environment. Number five, income. Number six, food source. And number seven, it, uh, the lady's finger is useful to humans. Learning task six, read each question carefully and write the letter of the best correct answer in your notebook. Number one. Hannah loves to drink milk tea. This food drink contains a lot of sugar, which is true about milk tea for human health. Letter E, useful. Letter B, harmful. Letter C, sugar in milk tea is harmful if taken in excess. And letter D, sugar in milk tea is useful if taken in excess. Number two, Rings, necklaces, and watches are examples of jewelries. Which material is best to use in making jewelries? A. Ceramics, B. Metals, C. Plastics, B. Wood. Number three, plants have properties that make them practical source of foods. Which property make them good source of foods? A. Resistance, B. Mechanical, C. Chemical, or B. Physical. Number four, jewelries are made from metals which can be hammered into thin sheets without breaking. They can also withstand wear, pressure, and damage. Which properties best describe jewelries? One, malleability. Two, electrical conductivity. Three, durability. And four, elasticity. Letter E, one and two. Letter B, one, two, and four. Letter C, one and three. Letter D, one only. And number five, metals are used at home for variety of purposes. If the electrician will install electrical light in your kitchen, which material or materials are practical to use? One gold, two silver, three copper, four aluminum, and five stainless steel. Letter E, one and two. Letter D, three and four. Letter C, three only. Letter D, five only. And these are the correct answers. Number 1C, number 2B, number 3C, number 4A, and number 5, letter D. That ends our lesson for week 1 to 2 in our Science 5. Thank you for joining our class. Have a great day ahead. Bye!